the colors are pretty uniform. They, they will show thick, thin, and they will show maybe the speed and direction of the brush, but the color is very uniform edge to edge. If I want more variation in the colors, I need to load the brush with more than one color. So if you see some of these leaves here have both red and green on them, those are leaves where I've double loaded the brush so that the color mixes with the direction of the brush stroke and it's a one step operation. Um, to me that's more interesting and adds more opportunity for color and direction. So I'm gonna start with a chartreuse color as the base color, which is a very warm light green. I'm going to add a little avocado green and a little bit of this cool blue green on the other side. And then I'm going to put the tip of the brush with a, a warm color that will contrast a little bit with a little orange on the tip. So what I'm going to do is press down on the tip of the brush and then heel down on the brush to make my leaf. So I'm going to press down and lift up. And then I'll turn the brush, because this side is pretty much used up. I've rubbed all the color off of that side. And so I'm going to go to this side, and I'm going to press down at the tip, heel down on the brush, pull and lift up. So the color is going to mix on the stroke, and it's going to be a little more golden toward the end. There's a chartreuse overall color. This has more avocado here. This has a little more of that cool mint green, blue-green color on the edge. Myolica, I think, gives you bonus points for looking confident. Even if you aren't, you need to fake it. And people care more about whether you have a beautiful line or a nice brush swash than they care about whether something really looks exactly like something. So I think you get points for bravado when you're decorating with Myolica. If you do something that you hate, you can use an X-Acto knife for the edge of a rib to scrape it off gently and then pat more glaze on if you need to. Hopefully you don't have to do that. There will be days where you will, but that's the way it goes. So having done those leaves, I have a little dagger brush that's pointed off to one side that I like for lines. I've also used a liner brush and I'm going to do some line quality around these spots of color to help develop the motif. So I find that it, it helps if I put the, my little finger on the piece and pull toward me. And then I'm going to make a mid-rib for the leaf that's also going to accent where I put the darts in the corner. So I'll use the tip and then heel down, and use the tip and then heel down. And I see these bumps as loosely interpreted ends of stems for my leaves. 